Hi everyone, Nick here, and today we're having a look back at another F1 2020 league race. This time we're at Monza for round 17 of season 3 of the Serious Racing League. And as I've said many times before, Monza is my favourite track on the calendar. It's it's a really good challenge because of how the how the track is just pure straights and then fiddly little chicanes that you have to absolutely nail if you want to be able to be fast around here. Plus, I'm always slightly biased because I had such an ace time when I actually went to a race in Monza way back in 2010. That's like a decade ago, absolutely. Just seems. But I wasn't looking forward to driving the Haas round here. Unfortunately, the Haas is not blessed with straight line speed. It's not blessed with gripping corners. And yeah, it was never going to be an amazing experience driving this piece of junk, unfortunately, around this track. But we can always see what we can do. Sometimes we just have to try and get the maximum out of the, the hand that we've been dealt. Could we do that? Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? So, into qualifying then, we had no rain forecast for either qualifying or the race. And, I don't know, my qualifying pace felt okay. The Haas doesn't feel as bad in one lap conditions as it does in race conditions. And you can see it's early on in the session, but for the first sector, we actually go purple. So that's reasonably good. Unfortunately, we ruined that almost instantly by cutting the second chicane. There's no need to do that, I know better than that. We finished the lap off just to give ourselves a delta to race to for the next lap. Did a 121, it wasn't anything special. But here is lap two, and this would end up being my fastest lap of the session. So, very simple at this point, just go absolutely flat out. And we're looking for the 100 meter board, we're going to break a little bit before that, get it turned in in second gear, and then switch it back. We're a little bit wide on there, and could have possibly got it straightened a little bit earlier, which is why we're nearly a tenth down on our previous best. I like to stay as tight to the right hand side around Curva Grande as possible and then again it's about 100 meters we're going to slam the brakes on, cut as much of that as possible, use that curve as well, not as much but use it a bit as well. And we're not really doing that amazingly here. We're going to go through the two Lesmos. These were really tricky in this car because the car just didn't really seem to want to turn in very much. And I was having to really, really wait to get the throttle on. You can really feel that the Haas doesn't enjoy those corners at all. But we're nearly level with our previous best. Coming through Ascari, and again, this is one that the Haas doesn't really like. You have to be very, very cautious with the throttle thread it and then go and we've gained a bit of time compared to our previous best but again we're, we're less than two temps it's not amazing parabolica again a bit of a stuck record here but you have to wait more than you would in other cars get it on the power go as far right as possible run on the line and we've done a 120.8 which at the time was good enough for seven but it was only about four temps off a pole so that was good but then we knew we could go better we knew that there was a better lap there so when we went out for our third run we wanted to actually prove that and we're up here coming out of a second chicane so that's great but we have an absolutely diabolical lesmo one run massively wide and then completely mess up the second one because we're in the completely wrong place so yeah we've only done one valid lap in three runs and i don't think and i don't think i've done a lap there but really represents how fast i could have gone could I have gone much faster? I don't know, there's definitely a couple of attempts in there, so maybe I could have got up to the battle for 6th, 7th, 8th in the low, high 5s maybe, I don't know. I don't know, it would have been tricky, but if we'd done a decent lap, I think we would have been higher than 11th anyway. So, into the race itself, we're going to start on soft tyres, one stop, medium tyres with a second stint, and away we go. And everyone, regardless of the game, knows that Monza turn one is never the easiest so we're going to try and be nice and careful we're going through here this is fine then there's a bit of contact ahead we're on the left hand side we get bumped repeatedly by owl on the outside i mean i guess he has to turn into the corner but i can't really disappear and then we flick onto the damage menu just in case to see what's going on and i've got front wing damage from that 
I don't know what else I'm supposed to do there. There I'm probably supposed to break a little bit earlier, so that's entirely my bad. We bump into the back of our, we lift off after cutting the chicane, and we let our back go, go back through. We also let Beckford and Wiggins go through, so we've lost a couple of extra places there because of that mistake. So, yeah, my bad, but very annoying. Wiggins has a rubbish exit compared to us out of Lesmo 2. We put Rich Fuel and Overtake on, and we get the job done, and we get the overtake made so we're back up into temp so actually technically that was a good first lap because we've gained a place but the front wing damage even though it was very minor it really felt bad so even though at this point i felt like the pace was okay it was only because other people were battling you can see tony peeled into the pits there because he had front wing damage he was holding the cars in front up which was helping me stay in contact that was the only thing i had that was keeping me pace wise on pretty much anyone's pace as you can see the cars in front here we've, we've stayed in touch with them vaguely by the start of lap three but end of lap four they're they're beyond drs range ahead of me and i've got maxi in his renault behind me you know what the outcome of this is going to be because it's a renault obviously he's going to absolutely cruise past and we are now back down into 10th place things weren't going to get any better anytime soon you can see here through a scar i'm just really struggling the car just doesn't feel like it's got any grip at this point whatsoever and hags behind in his ferrari has got a much better run down towards parabolica so he's going to go up the inside we're not really defending it from the terms of using any rich fuel or eos and he's got the inside there we decide at this point okay well maybe we can try and attack him and get him back down the pit straight so we're going to turn rich fuel on we've got drs we're not going to use eos not really sure why but we've got the outside line we're going to break here and hags is going to be okay cool well, i'll just break slightly later than that and have the inside line thank you very much and we are now back down into 11th which is where we started so after all that we're back just where we were in the first place at this point we then started to gain places due to other people pitting which is always the most thrilling of overtakes go up to 10th place before immediately losing it to wiggins who went up the inside again didn't really defend it an amazing amount there could have maybe tried to come to the inside and force him around the outside but, but we didn't so we went back up to 10th place after coulthard pitted and then up to 9th after dp pitted and then the next lap we were able to gain even more places because people pitting and we were flying high in sixth so absolute game changer we we're up in sixth because that's good and of course knowing how my race was going here we instantly ruined that by completely messing up the corner there losing a the back end and having a really really pointless stupid spin there it's one i've done before because if i break too late and turn in too sharply it swings a background and you lose it so i should know better by now but it seems i don't and we were really struggling on the tires at this point dp who had pit had now caught us up he was being very cautious because he obviously didn't want to get caught out by me and my complete head's gone but then managed to get uh, passed down the straight towards the sky chicane so lap 11 we decided it was finally time to pit we were going to get a new front wing and we were going to get some shiny new medium tires to take us to the end of the race unfortunately for my teammate for the night chug z he also came in at this point so he was going to get massively held up behind me with my very long pit stop so apologies to chug z just for way of a hass i'm afraid and as you can see on the bottom left hand corner we're 18th just about to be 19th as frankie goes through so the Haas flag flying high there in 19th and 20th. Absolute, just an absolute time to be alive. And yeah, at this point we were able to have a little bit of fun uh, when Frankie, who was having pretty much as much fun as us in this race in his Alfa Romeo, we were able to overtake him, use all our toys to get a nice exit there and break nice and late to get the job done. We leave him space on the apex if he needs it. But then we've got the left hand corner into turn two and that is that overtake done so we were back up into 18th place and then qv pit stop improvements as we were able to go to 17th and 16th and 15th because of people pitting 
and then we were able to get up to 14th place by the start of lap 20. However, that wasn't really going to last. As you can see, but Holm is behind us. He's got fresh tires, and this this is where it's really disappointing to watch back because at this point we can see there's a car behind, and we just do absolutely nothing to even attempt to defend the place, and we just let him cruise round the outside of Curva Grande. Just no no fight, but up. it's just really it's really disappointing to see back on the recording. Then we have an absolute mare through the second chicane go off because we get a massive catastrophic understeer because the car is really really bad back up to 14th because someone pitted always good to see and then by lap 23 we essentially got bored and pitted for some new soft tires to maybe try and do a fastest lap i had by this point more than once considered just retiring from the race but i didn't want to cause any issues where say i retire in the pits which is generally seen as the safest way to retire but then maybe the car comes out on track, doesn't go take someone out. I didn't want that to happen, so I soldiered on bravely to the end. And on lap 25, I was actually doing okay, purple middle sector. But unfortunately, we came across Frankie again on the run down to Parabolica. And while he obviously gave us a tow, it meant we had to go up the inside into Parabolica. It meant we got to do a vaguely nice overtaking move, which is always... Nice, nice to overtake through that corner there, but it meant we didn't get a very good run through there, and it kind of compromised us, and we only did a 122.4, and fastest lap ended up being a 122.2, so maybe, maybe without Frankie being there, maybe we'd have got it, but I don't know, and so at that point we decided, okay, well, maybe we'll just back off from Frankie and give ourselves another run to have another go at it, so lap 27, final lap, let's go for it, let's break at around the 100 metre board, it isn't there, anymore don't know where that's gone so we completely miss our breaking point and then think ah screw it let's just go through there get our 10 second penalty because you know that's the most serious thing you could ever do and then we finish the race by crashing into a wall and disappointed that we didn't actually manage to flip the car or something like that so there we go 18th place in the end there out of 20 finishers and yeah it's it's my worst result of the season and my worst drive of the season and i have i i can't think of anything i can't think of anything positive whatsoever to take from that it's yeah it's a very disappointing result at one of my favorite tracks and that always makes it a little bit worse i think we're still sixth in the championship we're still 60 points off because stefano also didn't score any points but there's only five races to go. It's not happening. It hasn't been happening for a long time, but it's definitely not happening now. So, what have we learned from this race? I I don't really know. Uh, it's, it's one thing getting bad results. I, I don't really mind getting bad results, especially in realistic performance when you've got a bad car. Bad results are going to happen. It's, it's just the way that I got the bad result. I didn't have a very good qualifying. I messed up a couple of laps. I didn't have a good start to the race. We got a little bit of damage. And at that point, it was always going to make it very difficult. But rather than thinking, let's let's just see what happens. We just went into full on heads gone and just everything was the worst thing ever. And just just no focus whatsoever. Letting people just go past. No, no fight, no bow. And it's just really disappointing. It's just, you know basically conceded the entire race after what three corners just it's just not good enough not good enough and it's not gonna get the job done so we go on to spain in the next round to see if we can set this right anyway that's the end of this video thank you very much for watching and i hope you've enjoyed it if you did then don't forget to do the old liking subscribing and commenting stuff you know it makes sense and it massively helps out the channel so it is much appreciated hit me up on twitter and instagram if you want to see what's going on in terms of social media type things if you want to hang out between races and videos then discord is a place to be and if you want to watch these races live as they happen then head on over to twitch every wednesday and sunday details of that on the screen and everything i've just said is all in the description below but until next time and the next video goodbye <laughs>